I'm Eric July, founder, owner, and writer. Welcome to the Riververse. The Riververse is the result of a comic book lifer that wanted to be a part of the solution instead of always griping about the problem. Now, don't get me wrong, this was always a part of my aspirations. However, the current climate certainly sped things up. You've watched some of your favorite comic book characters be bastardized to the point to where they're completely unrecognizable. They're just used as career stepping stones for a lot of writers that don't care about the lore. Some even despise their fans. Those are people that just want to tell stories that represent their social political views, even if they don't make sense for the characters that they're writing. And of course, these mega corporations that control these properties don't exactly make it easy for you to get in and understand what's canon. So maybe it's time for something new. We are a comic book company first and foremost that will never be forgotten no matter how big this venture gets. And we are guided by a set of principles known as the Ripperverse ethic. You will find this on a page in every single book that we release. And it's a set of standards that we certainly want you to hold us to. There are three main things that we will always emphasize. Number one, respect the customer. We aren't owed your dollar, but we'd love to have you as longtime supporters. It's going to be up to us to keep you interested and invested. Now, anytime there's passion involved, there's gonna be those conflicts, but we'll respect you, so as long as you respect us, it's all about reciprocity. Our second point of emphasis is canon and continuity. This is an ever-expanding universe. There's gonna be many of characters that will be introduced, but when you buy a book from us, you own a piece of history. It matters. These events will not be erased by way of time travel or some multiversal aspect. And number three, a comprehensive timeline. No matter when you jump into this space, we wanna make it easy for you to get caught up on some characters that you're interested in, so we're going to keep the reboots to a minimum. Now don't worry, we know that picking up the pieces is part of the fun, so we're not gonna exactly hold your hand. And while I personally value liberty, we're not gonna beat you over the head with on the nose current politics and current narratives that will completely contradict what it is that we're trying to do here. So whether you're into our main character in our first book, I Sum, or you're into Yaira, or you're interested in, all of them will certainly have you as a customer. Your ethnic background or genetic makeup is wholly irrelevant to us. Now, previously being part of comic book fandoms myself, I understand the importance of them. We'll do our jobs to preserve the sanctity on the business end, and we hope you will help us preserve a more healthy and thriving fandom. If we manage to do that, we're going to be very competitive in this market, and we're going to make our mark on this industry. We're not gonna be perfect. Errors will be made, but we won't let that stop us from being great. So visit Ripperverse.com where we have our own unique store that is tailor-made for our audience. A lot of our stuff will be released in campaign format with limited edition items, and once they're gone, they're gone. We'll be making books that expand across many different genres, so I'm very confident that we'll have something that is right for you in a series that you'll make your favorite. And one last thing. I started this company with no external investors and that's something that I like to remain true. Sure, we want to expand in many different avenues, video games, animation, maybe even live action movies, but not if it means selling off assets. We only answer to the customer. We don't want to make the same mistake as the other guys.